in present-day Japan. Numerous famous swords that have appeared throughout Japanese history still exist. They are preserved in shrines and museums or owned by private individuals. Among them, those with particular historical value are designated as national treasures. Currently, there are 122 swords recognized as national treasures. These treasured swords often have legendary stories associated with them, and some were once owned by shoguns or prominent feudal lords. In this video, I will introduce the top six most valuable swords that are designated as national treasures. Number six, Atsu Toshiro. Atsu Toshiro is a short sword known as a treasured blade passed down through the Ashikaga shogunate family. Crafted in the 13th to 14th century by Toshiro Yoshimitsu, one of the three great swordsmiths of Japan, this sword is a testament to his status as a master craftsman of his time. Possessing a sword made by him was considered a status symbol, and it is believed that warlords during the Sengoku period admired these swords greatly. This sword, being a famous blade, passed through the hands of various warlords. Records indicate that the ninth shogun, Ashikaga Yoshihisa, possessed it when he went to subdue a rival warlord in 1487. After the fall of the shogunate, the sword left the shogunno family, changing hands among merchants and renowned warriors. At one point, it was even used by a warrior to commit seppuku. Despite its many owners, in 1664, the sword was presented to the fourth Tokugawa shogun by a certain warlord. In return, it is said that the Tokugawa shogunno family awarded the warlord a thousand gold coins, an amount estimated to be around 120 million yen in modern currency. This high valuation reflects the sword's significant worth. The sword's journey through various hands attests to its status as an exceptionally renowned blade. The most distinguishing feature of this sword lies in its thickness. The blade length is about 8.58 inches, with a base width of about 0.75 inches. Despite being relatively small for a short sword, its thickness is about 0.47 inches. Considering that the typical thickness of swords is around 0.24 inches, this is remarkably thick and robust. Furthermore, the sword's temper pattern is exceptionally well-crafted, earning its high acclaim as a work of art. This sword was designated as a national treasure in 1956 and is currently housed in the Tokyo National Museum. Number 5. Akashi Kuniyuki Akashi Kuniyuki is a tachi, Japanese long sword, created by the 13th century swordsmith Rai Kuniyuki. Rai Kuniyuki is considered the founder of the Rai school, which was a prominent group of swordsmiths representing the Kamakura period, known as the Golden Age of Japanese swords. During the mid-Kamakura period, the demand for more practical battlefield swords increased, especially after the Mongol invasions of Japan, the Genko. This led to the development of the Tachi, which had a longer blade than normal swords. The Rai school, adapting to the needs of real combat, lightened the sword by incorporating grooves in the blade and use different qualities of iron in specific parts to enhance sharpness and resistance to breaking. The Akashi Kuniyuki is considered one of his masterpieces, perfectly embodying the style of the Rai school. Although made for practical use, the pristine condition and lack of damage on the Akashi Kuniyuki's blade suggest it might not have been used in battle. 
The blade length is 30.12 inches, and it features a carving of a three-pronged Vajra at the base. The Vajra is a ritual object in Indian Tantric Buddhism and symbolizes the Buddhist deity Fudo Myo. The name Akashi Kuniyuki is derived from his history with the Akashi Matsudaira family, a daimyo family with connections to the Tokugawa shogunate. The blade collar of the sword is engraved with the Tokugawa family crest. Although the Tokugawa shoguns prohibited others from using their crest, they granted permission to the Matsudaira family. The sword was passed down within the family until it was designated a national treasure in 1953. It is currently housed in the Sword Museum in Tokyo. Number 4. Kōsetsu Samonji Kōsetsu Samonji is known as a sword crafted by Samonji, a disciple of the legendary master swordsmith Masamune. It is also his only existing tachi with a signature. The name Kusetsu Samonji originates from its association with the samurai Kōsetsu Sai, who served and was highly valued by influential figures of his time, including Toyotomi Hideyoshi, who unified Japan. Kosetsu Sai was not only a warrior, but also a cultured individual, well-versed in the tea ceremony and waka poetry, as well as skilled in diplomacy, often playing the role of a negotiator during conflicts between daimyos. Eventually, he presented this sword to Tokugawa Ieyasu, whom he was serving at the time. The sword was later given to his son, Tokugawa Yorinobu. At the age of 14, he carried this sword during his first battle at the Siege of Osaka in winter, one of the largest battles in Japanese history. The blade of this sword is 30.75 inches long and features a beautifully executed, gently undulating wave pattern. Additionally, it comes with an exquisite mount, which was specifically commissioned by Tokugawa Ieyasu, adding significant value to the sword. This sword remained a treasured heirloom of the Tokugawa family until 1934, when it was auctioned off and left the family's possession. After changing hands privately, it was designated a national treasure in 1951. Today, it is on display in an art museum in Hiroshima Prefecture. Number 3. Inabago Inabago is known as a sword crafted by Go Yoshihiro, who was the foremost disciple of the legendary swordsmith Masamune. Go was an active swordsmith in the 14th century. His works are renowned for their distinct patterns and textures on the blade, along with exceptional sharpness. Despite being recognized as a master swordsmith, he tragically passed away at the age of 25. Yoshihiro was a rare genius in the history of sword making, having mastered the craft at such a young age. Initially, many of his masterpieces were in existence, but as time passed, many of these swords disappeared, making those that remain legendary and highly valuable. The Inabago has a blade length of 27.91 inches with a gently undulating wave-like pattern on the blade. The jihada, ground of the blade, features a fine wood grain pattern indicating the high quality of the sword. It is considered to be one of the finest masterpieces created by Go Yoshihiro. The name Inabago was originally bestowed in honor of the samurai Inaba Shigemichi, who favored this sword. He was a Sengoku period warrior who served under renowned warlords such as Oda Nobunaga and Toyotomi Hideyoshi. Shigemichi held the position of Umamawari, a role in the samurai hierarchy. And Umamawari was a mounted samurai responsible for escorting and protecting the Lord delivering messages, and serving as a key force in battles. This position was typically filled by highly skilled and elite warriors 
who often served as a sort of personal guard for their lord. After Inaba's death, the sword was acquired by Tokugawa Ieyasu, reportedly for a mere 15 million yen in today's value. It then passed on to his descendants and was preserved through generations until modern times. In 1951, this sword was designated as a national treasure, signifying its historical and cultural significance. Today, it is housed in a museum in Yamaguchi Prefecture. Number 2. Yamatorige Yamatorige is a sword known as the beloved blade of the Sengoku period warlord Uesugi Kenshin, and it is also regarded as the most expensive sword in history. Uesugi Kenshin, referred to as the God of War, or Dragon of Ichigo, was a warlord famously respected for his exceptional martial prowess. Unlike other notable warlords, he had no ambition for territorial expansion, with his domain remaining largely within Echigo province throughout his life. He only led military campaigns when called upon by other states, achieving victory in most of these endeavors. Even Oda Nobunaga, who was close to unifying Japan, was very cautious not to antagonize him. This sword was treasured by Kenshin and later used by his adopted heir, who succeeded him as the head of the Uesugi clan. It has since been passed down as a family heirloom within the Uesugi lineage. The value of this sword is enhanced not only by its historical significance, but also by the beauty of its blade. The name Yamatorige, which translates to mountain bird feather, was derived from the delicate and ornate pattern of the blade, resembling the feathers of a mountain bird. This pattern is created during the quenching process, where the heated sword is rapidly cooled in water and is a crucial aspect in the appreciation of Japanese swords. Furthermore, this sword is known as the most expensive in history valued at an astonishing 500 million yen. In 2020, Satoshi City in Okayama Prefecture purchased it from a private owner for this amount. Recognized as a national treasure in 1952, the sword is currently held by the city and is displayed to the public about once a year. Number 1. Mikazuki Munichika Mikazuki Munichika is a sword created by the famous swordsmith Sanjo Munichika during the Heian period. It is one of the Tenka Goken, a term that refers to the five most celebrated swords among Japanese swords. Among the swords crafted by this swordsmith, there are several, including Kogitsunimaru, that, despite not existing anymore, still resonate as legend. The blade length of this sword is 31.5 inches. Its beauty is enhanced by the slender width and the gentle curve towards the tip. The origin of the name Mikazuki Munichika comes from the crescent moon-like pattern on the blade. Several crescent moon patterns appear along the edge, making it a distinctive feature of this sword. This sword was favored by the shogunate and other powerful figures of the time but it is particularly known for being in the possession of Yamanaka Yukimori, a retainer of the Amago clan. He was renowned for his martial skills and his deep sense of justice. Known for his devotion to the crescent moon, he would pray to it daily and offered featured the moon in his armor and weapons. After the fall of the Amago clan, he devoted himself to its restoration but was killed before his ambition could be realized. As if foreseeing his own demise, he respectfully returned the sword to its original owner, considering himself unworthy of it. Later, in 1951, the sword was designated as a national treasure of Japan. It is currently housed in the Tokyo National Museum, 
where it is periodically exhibited. Japanese traditional knives are recognized as first class by professional chefs worldwide for their sharpness, akin to that of Japanese swords. This is partly due to the history of swordsmiths. For over a thousand years, swordsmiths have been creating numerous swords for battles, playing a vital role. However, with the arrival of peaceful times in the 18th century, the demand for swords declined. Many master craftsmen then shifted from sword making to knife making, passing on their swordsmithing techniques to knife crafting. This is why Japanese knives possess such exceptional sharpness. I want everyone to experience the excellent sharpness and the beauty of the blades of Japanese knives. At Hocho Knife, you can purchase knives online made by Japanese knife artisans. They offer a wide variety of knives, so please find and purchase your unique knife. For the product page, please check the description of this video. We hope you enjoyed this exploration into the world of Japanese swords. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting content about the history of Japanese swords. Until next time, sayonara.